How are you, everybody? Um, this is another beatboxing lesson. In today's video, um, it will be it will be m more about learning a singular sound. In the last video, we had <coughs> and these are sounds that are so basic to make, as I explained. But very effective when actually like creating creating a beat, whether whether it be hip hop, whether it be a techno house, drum and bass sort of thing, you know, just like any sort of music that you hear, really it has the the drums sort of sounds, and this sound is I like to use it in grime beats, so. I use the p to k and a wee bit of humming with uh, with this sound, which I'll teach I like to call it the garden strummer because I was walking down the road one day and it was a warm summer's day and I just didn't, I could just hear all these, all these strumming sounds and it just clicked, I was like, I make that sort of sound. <laughs> a stone got in it and it broke. In fact, it was a branch in fact, but a big, a big thick branch that broke it. Anyway, so that's the garden strummer, and it's that sound I'm going to teach you, and we'll we'll learn a wee grime sample, right? So, how do we make that sound? Imagine you've just fell out with your best pal, or you've just fell out with somebody in your family, right? Or you've just you fell out with somebody, right? You're like that. <laughs> I need bother, mate. Yeah, you're not getting that scored back. <laughs> What's that, mate, eh? <laughs> Dafty. <laughs> or imagine a horse. Imagine a horse that when they go, they do that flappy lip thing. <laughs> it's like saying t t t t t But just closing your mouth. <laughs> Keep your mouth relaxed. <laughs> That's it. How do we extend that? How do we how do we um, get that longevity? You know, your eyes, right? So imagine, but then going. Again, you're keeping the mouth relaxed. You're keeping it closed. Your mouth is closed. And you can forget about the horse part now. You can just go in a shh. Or even say chew, as if you're saying chew. So you're getting that wee ch, ch, ch sound. And like I say, anybody can beatbox because if you can speak words, you can beatbox. For example, let's go for a wee chit chat. You know what I mean? You get that ch, ch in that sense. You know what I mean? And it's again. And how you manage the air in your mouth, you get a different sort of sound. How you position the mouth as well. So if I smile and go, I get that. But if I, I'm, I'm relaxed, I get. And when I'm sad, it actually sounds like a smile. But anyway, so, you know, you know what I mean? It's that sort of thing. So, and it doesn't need to be so... You don't think, don't let... I think it's always good to keep in mind when you hear a beatboxer that such, they're making these sounds and you're like, Phew. it's quite off-putting. For me as well, when I was growing up, I was seeing beatboxers, I was like, Phew. how are they getting that? How are they getting that sound? 
but it really is just just practicing it at its basic level, like now, and then being like, no, I'm actually enjoying that. I'm going to keep doing it. I'm actually enjoying that, and I'm discovering other sounds and tap it. You know what I mean? So, for example, me starting off with, and then hearing a garden strummer, I'm like, you know what I mean? Sorry about the saliva there, but you know what I mean? So it's just about learning and just and just having that passion for it, I guess, which takes you forward. So it's not about the, oh, it's impossible to do that, or, I mean, that's just a natural ability to be like, no, isn't it? It's just something that you like and it's something that you enjoy doing. So, here's how to put this sound in a beat. Here's a wee beat for you to try, right? So, as again, the last video, we had the... We'll put that in a beat and we'll make a wee grind sort of beat, right? In fact, here we go, right? Try this. So that's the, the adding the, so it's like, imagine the letter, and then, you can go in months here, I like during the grind beats, I like to do my K snare, so in months and out, so you can go, I also think this wee sound complements the How am I getting that wee when you've already got How do I get that? I'm literally just saying so And it's for the back of the, the mouth. Huggy, 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 huggy. It's like saying, <laughs> Try and get a wee yeah. That like sort of yeah. You know what I mean? As if you're saying yeah. Really, it's just about experimenting and trying your own sort of thing. So, that was the basic. So, here's a wee beat for you to sort of take home and try to, try to um, improve on for the next video, which I'll actually maybe try to think of some patterns that we can use some of the basic sounds in and uh, use the metronome over these patterns to keep your beat in time. But for now, here's the wee beat you need to try, right? So, we've learned the, here's the beat. And if you can do that, then, I advise you to add in <laughs> just gives it that extra wee bit of flavour and that's just humming and doing it at the same time that's just going <laughs> and like I say the more you move the mouth you get different sounds <laughs> yeah, right. You can speak as well and do it. Why don't you've actually got that wee basic? <laughs> Try and speak sentences. So, <laughs> hello, how are you? <laughs> yes, I'm doing fine. Make sure you breathe in though before you do it, or else you'll faint. 
what's another wee word we can say? Happy birthday if it's Emily's birthday. <laughs> I'm so silly. <laughs> anyway, that was the sound. I call that the pew sound. It's a pew. Oh, the psh, psh, Because that's really what you're saying. Choo choo. Things like that. Right. Again, hope you enjoyed and till the next time. Thanks again for to Music Broth for allowing me to perform the this example, you know. Much respect. Yo. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>